They kind of pulled away from the fourth quarter of the night. What was, what was kind of missing for you guys uh, this fourth quarter that maybe was there in recent? <laughs> I mean, they had shots. You got to give them credit. They yeah. hit some, some tough shots. Um, they made some plays when they needed to make them, so uh, I mean, credit to them. Um, it is what it is. Yeah. Joel, tough to defend tonight. He goes for 51. Uh, what made it tough to defend? I mean, it was, you know, I think we could have been a little more physical on him, but we, we just making tough shots. I mean, he, he, when you're making shots like that consistently, the, the mid range was working today for him. Uh, got to the free throw line a lot. Um, you know, it, it just, you know, it's a good play. You mentioned being more physical, but when when he goes to the free throw line 18 times, it makes it difficult. Yeah, I was gonna say how, how physical. I just can can't change our him. mindset. Just continue. Like I say, he's a great player, so um, he made some shots. You know, he had to make some great shots against uh, some really good defenders, and and he did. So yeah. give him credit. You know, he made the shots he needed to make. He, uh, made the free throws when he got the opportunity to go to the free throw line. Bridge spot for you guys tonight. Jaden had one of his best offensive games and, and since he's been back from the mm -hmm. injury. He's definitely. Um, what did you see from him tonight, and, and how good just is it to have him maybe back in a rhythm on that end of the floor? I mean, it's important, you know, it's important to have someone like him have his rhythm, and uh, it just adds to our, uh, our repertoire of weapons, you know. Um, Rudy's doing a great job as well offensively, and me, we're all feeling uh, pretty good on the offensive end, so um, if we could keep our identity as, you know, the defense that we've uh, the identity that you've garnered mm -hmm. on that side of the floor and we continue to improve offensively, you know, it's always about finding that 1% better and I think that uh, we've been doing that every day. Mm -hmm. As you just, what did the team have done in terms of assembling a roster to where it's not the pressure to you to have to carry a team? I'm sure your first couple of years you probably felt the weight of the world, but what's it like being surrounded by the talent you have? Yeah, it's awesome to have a chance to win and have a chance to win big, so, um, you know, I, uh, I'm just very blessed that I'm in this locker room, um, be able to play with these guys and be able to help every way possible winning and, and, and helping this team succeed. Well, we, what was it like the first couple of years, though, just knowing that the expectation of just being the number one pick and all that? Uh, I mean, just, you know, you want to prove yourself and you want to play as well as you can. You know, you come to a team that, got, that garnered the number one pick and, um, you know, you want to help out any possible way while also show, showcasing the talent that made you the number one pick. Um, you know, I've been I've been I've been about winning since I came here. I, if I if anyone needs to have that proven, they can see myself in Kentucky doing the ultimate sacrifice of giving up a lot of minutes and th and, and points and whatever statistical averages you think you need to be the number one pick to help you know help and see my team in Kentucky win. And I just brought that same mentality to the NBA. Um, obviously, I understand my responsibility was a little larger than what I had in Kentucky and. Tried to make the most of every single game and day that could help this organization win and take its next steps. So um, it's awesome to be in a position, you know, uh, to see a lot of the patience paying off to have the kind of players we have in this locker room and to uh, see us uh, in this position. You see me doing media, <laughs> sat. How much would you test the taste of patience tested just in terms of seeing the growth? Because I know when you're young, you want it quick. Uh, um, say it again. How much has my patience been tested? How much was it tested? Just a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot. It, it's been. It's always tested every single day. But uh, summer was was very intriguing for me as well. What has the addition of Anthony done? Just in terms of just not just his play, but just his personality. Yeah, I mean, it makes it makes you know he's he's not only a great player, he's a great teammate, and. Uh, his presence makes a, I think all of us could say we definitely get a lot of laughs from him every single day. So, um, you know, bring positivity to the locker room and um, his talent obviously helps all of us out tremendously find different ways to win. So uh, I think we're doing a great job of, of kind of just just playing off of each other, utilizing each other's skill sets and strengths to the betterment of the team. And uh, I think our record shows that. Paraphrasing, not being the son, but being one of Yeah, friends. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I think we, I think in that same analogy, you know, we're, we're this, we're, we're now a solar system in this locker room. We all have planets that we control and things that we can control to help this universe work. And, um, you know, and, 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 you know, I think that with all of us, you know, just as, as planets do, they all rotate at their own pace, but also keep everything together and keep everything working. Uh, we can see, you know, something great. Thanks so much. Yeah.